What's up, everybody? OMB. Hey, look, I appreciate y'all subscribing to the channel. Do subscribe if you're not subscribed. And hit the bell icon so you can be notified for future videos. So, this coronavirus thing that took over. This ain't about the coronavirus, but they got everything on lockdown in the state of Florida now. I mean, you call it lockdown, but, you know, put it like this. All them kids that been out there playing... Police going to be sending y'all home indoors. Good. I'm tired of seeing y'all out anyway. Y'all number germ spreaders. Little germ spreaders. <laughs> but anyway, George Foreman, former two-time heavyweight champion, says Wilder can beat Fury easily. Now check it out. George Foreman, former Two-time world champ. I like that. Foreman. Former. You know what I'm saying? But anyway. Y'all got to understand. Look, before I get into this, this is how I feel about an old school dude reaching out to somebody younger and the younger dude responding. And you know what I'm saying? And, and, and you know, taking heed to what the man's saying. Much respect, bro, because that's what you're supposed to do. You suppose if somebody got experience, yo, take that experience, man. He's trying to give you some knowledge to make it easier for you because he knows. Now let me go ahead and read the article and then I'll go in. George Foreman, this is the article I was reading. George Foreman said, I had a nice conversation with Wilder. Nice conversation with him. We talked because I was in a position where I lost unexpectedly with the title in Africa, only I know what he's going through. He's going to have to live with that. He's going to have to live with the fury loss. But I can show him how to live with that and come back better. We talked a lot on those lines. And then Wilder, with the correct adjustments, can beat Fury. And he can win the win the trilogy fight and style not only beat him can do it easily give him another chance he'll show you now let me tell you what i now first of all let me say this i was reading the comment section up under this article boy they was crapping on wild the bad and even the people who did the article the picture that they chose is that one where Wilder getting knocked in the jaw and, you know, it looked like his lip, lips going a little bit like this over here, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's kind of funny, but still, y'all, I mean, why y'all got to do it like that, though? But that's all right. That's all right. Take your shots. Do all that. Now, let me get into what I'm saying. <clears throat> George Foreman been in the boxing game a long time. He know all the tricks and trades. Now, I am going to take a jab at Wilder's Corner because it shouldn't have took a dude from the internet to find out the, that, that, that your boy cheating and then y'all come up with some cockamamie excuse like that uh, uh, of a mask. And it's good that y'all didn't really say anything about that because it'll make you look even crazier. You know what I'm saying? So that was a smart thing that y'all did. not I know I made a video saying that he should say something. But nah... Leave it as is. But bring a veteran like George Foreman up in there. Who knows all the little tricks you can do to try to cheat. That man been in the game with Muhammad Ali, bro. Man, he fought the best of the best. He's still around, bro. Know what I'm saying? He knows what's going down. You best to have a veteran like that in your corner, bro. I respect that big time. And then, with the correct adjustments, you don't think George Foreman know what adjustments that man need to make? Now, y'all can say what y'all want about me, say what I need. I need to know what the man do. I want to see you guys refute what George Foreman is saying. Y'all like to talk about us who, who like to say, okay, <clears throat> we think this need to happen. We think Wilder can do this. We think Wilder can do that. Well, George Foreman is saying the same damn thing. He think, he think Wilder can beat him easily, though. You gonna deny him? You gonna say he don't have the experience and the knowledge? Huh? Nah, y'all ain't gonna do that. At least I hope not. You better not. I wouldn't. But Teddy Atlas gonna say George Foreman don't know what he's talking about. 
You remember Teddy Atlas sitting up there running his mouth, sitting up there saying, "Oh, he's look, he don't know how to fight. He needs to learn how to fight." Need, uh, 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 he just went in, just talking all kinds of crap. What you gonna say, George Foreman? Don't know, huh? Remember Teddy Atlas, two time former world champion, two times heavyweight. Remember that? You know what I'm saying? Tell him he don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to throw that. I'm going to throw that at him like that. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, people like to run their mouth. And your little fanboys, Tyson Fury, whoever they are. The ones that come over here talking, they know it's what you going to tell George Foreman he don't know what he's talking about? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, I dig it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yo, y'all can't get away with nothing in this fight. And see, by that happening, then they said the fight is probably going to be somewhere late October instead of July because of the coronavirus thing, which depends on how you know, far this coronavirus thing goes. If people, damn, just listen and stay their asses in the house. Keep your little dirty ass kids in the house. <laughs> they got your bad habits. <laughs> but anyway, like I was saying, you know, man, come on. George Foreman, he's a veteran of the game. He knows what he's talking about. He knows what he's seeing. Now, I know these dummies, some dummy going to say, what is he saying that we can't see a whole damn lot? <laughs> Apparently. You know, so, I'm looking at this as a good thing for Wilder. I can't wait to see this fight. Can you imagine with George Foreman, if he, if he, if he trained a Wilder, what he had Wilder doing all the way to October? Let me tell y'all something about hard work. You know, I'm going to make this video a little bit longer, just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Let me tell I've made, I've, I've lost... Uh, I, I'm going to do a video, I promise y'all, I'm going to show y'all the weight that I had when I was 230 pounds and what I look like now, you know what I'm saying? And I did, uh, all this, all the weight that I lost was through hard work. Let me tell you something, I seen dudes who work hard, dudes is built, they don't lift no weights, they just do hard work, you know what I'm saying? Like, heavy lifting and stuff like that, that's what they do. It comes to walking distances, you got to carry stuff. They do that, you know what I'm saying? Like now, I ain't going to say I be carrying all that stuff and walking long distances with heavy stuff, but I do do a lot of walking, man, you know what I'm saying? And that trims you down, man. You'll be surprised how much you burn. So can you imagine in the country, you know, he going out there on George Foreman Farm, he got to mess with them dog on cows and stuff like that and, 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 and get out there and start oh uh, messing with them horses you gotta you know i don't know if they cleaning them i'm pretty sure they are it ain't no easy job bro you know what i'm saying and i can imagine it feel like you get kicked by a horse bro <laughs> and i doubt it's gonna happen because george foreman know what he's doing but yo you go out there and and you start getting with that sod and stuff like that man that stuff is hard work b I, I lived in the country man i've seen what these dudes do man they be out there hard even if you just work in the machinery that heat Ain't no air conditioning them things. You got to constantly shift gears. You got to constantly turn. Yo, it ain't like you on some highway or something. You getting bumped and jumped up and down, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yo, yo, it's, it's a hard work. Farm work is no... Excuse the last part of that video. I know it was out of sync. You know what I'm saying? But I apparently, I lost memory. But yo, all I want to say is if... George Foreman is going to do what I think that he going to do. Farm work ain't no joke, B. That's, that's going to require you your leg strength. It's going to give Wilder some leg strength, man. I don't care what y'all say. I know what I'm talking about, B. I've worked on farms. and You know what I'm saying? I've worked with farms. I've watched them. And, yo, you got them dudes. You got to be physically fit. OMB signing out. Peace.